So what's the first mod you put on when you get a new bike? If you're like me, it's probably a phone mount. I've been using quad lock mounts for five years now on all of my bikes. Quad lock sent me their new handlebar clamp mount. So we're gonna install this bad boy today and I also just wanna review my experience with quad lock in general from using their products over the last five years on every bike I've owned. So let's get this new mount installed on the 790. So there are two versions of the new handlebar clamp mount. There's the Pro and the regular. The Pro is all metal and just a little bit more heavy duty and therefore a little bit more expensive. They're both quality products. I'm gonna put the Pro here on the 790. It should be as simple as pulling one of these bolts and replacing it with this. I'm gonna go with this bolt here, I think. I'm gonna crack a little Loctite, obviously. Step one. Oh, that's a lot shorter than I expected. Heard that before. So this is what the bolt looks like and the top comes off. You wanna save that, but this is how you tighten it down. And there's various spacers you can use depending on how your bolts sit here, but I don't think I need it because the bottom of this bolt is plenty. So I'm just gonna get this started and then I'll get a wrench and tighten that down. This already has Loctite on it, but it has to go down to your manufacturer's torque specs. It's pretty important because these are your handlebars and you use them to control the motorcycle. Ah, oh, it's a 13, what the hell? Don't you know the rule is it has to be an eight, a 10 or a 12 always? Well, this is 13 stuff, that never happens. So this could not be simpler. And the nice thing is all of your dual sport and adventure bikes have handlebar clamps. Now, they maybe aren't all M8 bolts, but most of them are. So again, you should, if you're installing this properly, go look up your torque spec and make sure this is torqued properly. But generally I just go with a guten tight and call it good. We're gonna put the head back on that. Voila. And then we have the pivot that comes with it. This is all included in the mount. Cause if you probably don't want it off center, right? You probably want it more like towards the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Actually, since I like to have my phone kind of vertical, I think I'm gonna put it over here so that it's not blocking this or access to the ignition. They give you an Allen key that you can use to install this. The bolt has Loctite, Allen key does not, obviously, because that wouldn't make any sense. So this is an alternative to a traditional handlebar mount or like they have 5,000 other mounts. Like on my Transalp, I don't have any room on these bars right now. I've got too much stuff on them. So this would be ideal because you can take advantage of whatever space is left. They also make a clamp mount that could just go right here in the middle or they make mirror mounts. They all kinds of cool stuff. Literally anything you can think of. I was looking at their website today. They have a stroller mount. So if you want to mount your phone on a stroller, you can. I can already hear you typing the comments about, oh, destroying your iPhone camera, blah, blah, blah. So we just use the vibration dampener. Always use the vibration dampener when you're mounting to your motorcycle. Very convenient. Whoa. Okay, well, it's not super easy when you drop it down in the fairing. Ah, oh, and the bolt stayed in. Thank God. So you just go down through it and tighten it down to your mount that you just put on there. I'm gonna kind of get the angle where I want it. We'll tighten that down too. Now we'll put the head on. Pro comes with the black lever. The regular one comes with the blue, but you can buy these levers in whatever color you want. So if you want it to kind of disappear on your bike, black is a good stealth way to go. If you want that signature look, the blue is the quad lock color. Favorite thing about quad lock, one-handed operation, done. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna block the screen too much. And if I, maybe I want to go horizontal, Absolutely can, same mount. Now I'll probably add a charger to that just because it saves me the inconvenience of plugging my phone in every time. So that was legitimately a five minute install. I spent more time trying to find a 40 millimeter Torx than I did actually installing it. So I've been using quad lock cases and mounts for like five years now. They were one of the first companies to come on board and sponsor the channel way back when I was a wee lad. And so it's about time I did a review and talked about my experiences using these products. I've done tens of thousands of miles with quad locks on my bars. I have crashed. I don't know how many times on camera with a quad lock attached my phone has never come off one time let's talk about the quad lock system and what i like about it what i don't like about it and why i recommend it to people the first question that always comes up i'm just gonna head it off at the pass but doesn't the vibration ruin your camera no not if you use a vibration dampener. Quadlock was one of the first companies to come up with a solution to that issue. I've never had a single problem over multiple phones. Now, admittedly, I haven't used iPhones. I'm not an iPhone guy. But if they were just destroying phones left and right, they wouldn't still be making products. That vibration dampener solves that issue, and you can go look on their website if you want to see the science, but it just doesn't transfer the vibration to your phone the way that directly mounting it to the bars does. So make sure you're using a vibration dampener. The Quadlock system is an all-in-one phone case and mounting setup. It's not just for motorcycles, that's just sort of what they're most famous for. They have setups for, if you look at their website, aviation, 
uh, everyday use. They have desk mounts, they have car mounts, they have a stroller mount, like I mentioned before. So once you get into their ecosystem, there's a solution for pretty much anything you want to mount your phone to, any place you want to have it conveniently located. They even have like armband mounts for running and stuff like that. They sell everything you need top to bottom, which means everything you buy from them is compatible with everything else you buy from them. And they have their Quadlock 360 tool on their website, which makes it super easy to put together a setup that you need that's all going to work together and make sense for what you're doing. So you don't have to go searching all over the website to try to find different pieces and hope that they'll work together. You literally just go, I want to set up for a motorcycle. Uh, I need a single pivot and an arm and vibration dampener done. Quad locks can be mounted to your handlebars, the GPS mount bar, fork stem, mirror, brake reservoir, brake clutch mount, or basically any flattish surface on your motorcycle or in any other vehicle that you might own. Honestly, there are so many options, you can pretty much mount your phone wherever you want. So over the years, I've discovered a few pros. Let's start with those. One, I really like the case. Now, one of the cons that we'll get to is that you have to buy their case, but I've never been sad about that. It's a simple, svelte, protective case for your phone. It has these ridges you see on the side which protect the screen when you drop it face down. The screen never hits the ground. The corners are reinforced, and I am clumsy. And I have dropped my phone, I don't know how many times, on tile floors, on concrete, out on the trail, whatever. I've never once had any issues that the case failed to compensate for. It kind of sucks that you're locked into buying only their case, but it helps that the case is awesome. It's also got a smooth surface, so it slides in and out of your pocket easily, and it doesn't add a ton of bulk to your phone like some cases do. Smooth edges, so that it's not catching. You put it on, you forget it's there. I've had this on every phone I've owned in the last five years, and I'm a big fan of the case. Case is compatible with all their mounts, so you only need the one case to go back and forth between your car, truck, side-by-side -side boat, airplane, plane, whatever it is that you have. The convenience of being able to remove my phone from the bike and put it back on the bike with one hand cannot be overstated. I take pictures a lot. I'm constantly popping on and off the bike to take pictures, part of my job. It is so easy to get this on and off your bike, wearing gloves, not wearing gloves. That is an underrated feature, I feel like. I had a, a different clampy type mount before and it was just fiddly and awful and awkward and it was pushing the buttons all the time, all of that stuff. No issues with the quad lock. It just slips right into the indentation on the back of your phone, bloop, you're on, and pops right off as soon as you need it to. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you go for the integrated charging setup, that will save you even more time because you're not plugging in a cord and unplugging it all the time to charge your phone. It's also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about water getting into the charging port while it's charging on your phone, so that's cool. And the mount itself is incredibly secure. It doesn't seem like it would be because such a small kind of overall surface area mounting point right here, but I have crashed countless times. I have footage of me crashing countless times. My hardest crash ever, the one where I got the wind knocked out of me and my back didn't feel right for six months, I got on camera. This thing was on the bars. I went down hard and it stayed on the bars, no problem. I've never had a single concern about my phone coming off the bike. It is a true set it and forget it solution. And that has been awesome because I go to a lot of places where there's a lot of jiggly vibration as you're riding across uneven ground. No problems with the mounting setup. They also now have this magnetic mounting solution. That's maybe harder to see because my mag mount isn't colored. You can get a colored mag mount here. So you wouldn't use this on the motorcycle because they vibrate too much. But like in my Tundra, I didn't have navigation. So I had a quad lock mount on the dash and I would just pop, it just pops right on. You don't even have to do the motion and it would hold it there magnetically, easy on and off. And there's a charging head for that too. So that's super convenient. And again, when I'm talking about going back and forth, it's not just a motorcycle phone mount. You can use it anywhere. I've had over Overwhelmingly positive experiences working with the company over the years. Can't say that about every company I've worked with, but they're an Australian company and they've been great, accommodating, gracious, generous. They've sponsored giveaways and they've been a good company to work with and that means something to me. They are constantly innovating and adding to the product line. This handlebar clamp mount is a good example. I get emails all the time and they're like, hey, we did a new thing. You want to try it? Like several times a year. I, I don't see that from a lot of other companies. And they have a ton of customization options now. So these customizable mag rings are one thing that I talked about. You can get different colors here. They have customizable locks on top of the mounts, customizable collars for certain mounts. So there's the opportunity to either match it to your bike or just adjust it to your personality and make it your own, which I think is cool. But it's not perfect. No product is. So here's what I don't like about it. The first and most obvious con is that you have to buy their case. The case is 30 bucks ish usually, which is what a decent case costs. You're going to buy a case for your phone anyway, I assume, but you have to buy their case. So that's a con and you're limited. You can't buy other cases that you might like. No Otterbox no fancy glittery case like my wife has on her phone. 
just the solid black quad lock case. I like this case a lot. It's perfect for me. I don't need anything flashy. I like that it disappears. You don't really notice it, but it's not for everybody. The wireless charging head in particular is not technically necessary because you can just plug your phone in. What you're paying for is convenience and uh, waterproofness, but if you're not using your phone in the rain on the bars anyway, does that really matter? So maybe that particular part is not completely necessary, but I like it, I have it, I use it. It's a nice convenience thing for me. All of their charging stuff still requires you to have some sort of USB charger on your bike. Now they sell one that runs directly to your battery that you can use and that's waterproof and works great. I have it on the Trans Alp, but you do need some kind of charging setup even when you're using their charging heads. And now this is completely optional. You don't have to use their charging stuff, but it is nice and convenient, like I mentioned. And you're locked into their ecosystem. So their mounts don't work with any other case. Admittedly, you can put this case in other mounts, like a clamp mount. So you're not locked in from that perspective, but you have to have their case to use the mounts, which means you have to upgrade the case to a new case every time you get a new phone if you want to keep using all the mounts that you have. That's a pro and a con because you know everything is compatible that's a pro but you're stuck with it that's a con so something to consider before you start buying into the ecosystem but they do have options for everything and you can get pretty deep into it that does limit your options somewhat in terms of you have to have a device that they sell a mount for or a case for but they also have a generic stick-on mount that works with most things so you can make it work but I highly recommend just making sure you get a phone that has a case that they make because the cases are really good and nice to have. So what's the bottom line? Well, the point of a phone mount is to have convenient, visible access to your phone while riding. And protecting it is also important, but I would say that's a secondary purpose. Quadlock does both. You can put your phone pretty much anywhere you want, even on bikes with limited mounting options or zero bar space. The mount is secure and you can ride with confidence that your phone is going to stay put even if you crash. I have crashed with this thing on multiple times. No qualms whatsoever about it. No searching the bushes after your phone becomes a projectile in an unscheduled dismount. The case is also the best possible scenario in my opinion in terms of protection, lack of bulk, and unobtrusiveness if you like those kinds of cases. I do. Works on and off the bike. You can put a mount pretty much anywhere you want. The mounting system extends to pretty much everywhere else in your life. So you can put one case on your phone and know it'll work in the car, on your desk, on your motorcycle, or even a stroller. There is some startup cost and you're locked into their ecosystem, but I kind of don't mind that when they have a solution for literally everything. The products are good. Everything's super convenient and I enjoy the company and I enjoy working with the company. I've been using quad lock for pretty much the entire time I've been riding motorcycles and I will continue to do so for as long as they sell cases for the phones that I buy. I just want to say thank you again to Quadlock for sponsoring this video. Yes, they paid me to make this video, but they gave me zero editorial input into what I should say. I was happy to agree to make one for them because I knew I had a bunch of positive stuff to say because my experience has been overwhelmingly positive. I will put a link to their website in the description as well as that 360 configurator tool so you can pop over and see what options they have for whatever setup you're running on whatever vehicle you're traveling in and or your desk, stroller, arm, whatever else you want to do. If you've use the quad lock setup please leave us your experiences in the comments don't take my word for it ask these other people that have experience with the brand see what they have to say but for now and as always i just want to say thank you for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other uh thank you excellent <laughs>